Okay, so today we're going to be talking about cellular respiration. To start off, what is cellular respiration? So, cellular respiration is the process in which glucose is broken down in order to produce ATP or energy. Um, what types of organisms undergo cellular respiration? And um, these are all kingdoms of life. So um, while only autotrophs undergo photosynthesis in order to create their own food, even animals are under going to undergo cellular respiration. Um, what is the chemical reaction for cellular respiration? So this is going to be glucose plus oxygen. And those are going to be our reactants. And then our products are going to be carbon dioxide and water. And if you look closely, you're going to notice that the reactants for cellular respiration are the products for photosynthesis and vice versa. So we have two types of cellular respiration, and these are aerobic and anaerobic. So aerobic respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen, and anaerobic respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen. So, um, and, um, yeah, so this is going to take place in the mitochondria. All right, so first off, we have um, aerobic respiration. So aerobic respiration occurs in the presence of water, or sorry, <laughs> oxygen. And in this process, we see one glucose and six oxygen converted into six carbon dioxide plus two water plus 38 ATP. So the first step for aerobic respiration is um, glycolysis. And um, in glycolysis, we see two ATP and one glucose converted into two pyruvate and four ATP. And this step occurs in the cytoplasm. And there are 10 steps, which you aren't necessarily required to know but each one is catalyzed by a different enzyme. And ATP is produced by substrate level phosphorylation. So after glycolysis takes place, um, we move into the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. And um, this is where glucose is oxidized to carbon dioxide and ATP is generated by substrate level phosphorylation. The remaining energy is transformed to NAD plus and FAD. And before entering Krebs cycle, the pyruvate combines with coenzyme A and this creates acetyl-CoA. And the last step is oxi oxidative phosphorylation, which is the electron transport chain and chemiosmosis. The protons provide the energy. Um, they're going to lead to the production of ATP, which is the final product. And then we have anaerobic respiration, which is respiration that occurs in the absence of oxygen. So the first step for anaerobic respiration is going to be the same as aerobic. It's going to be glycolysis. So again, this is the two ATP and one glucose, and it's converted into two pyruvate and four ATP. And then we see fermentation take place. So there's lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. In alcoholic fermentation, the cells convert pyruvate into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide. In lactic acid fermentation, pyruvate is reduced into lactic acid or lactate. So think about when you're working out and then the next day your muscles are really sore. This is because the lactic acid is building up in your muscles and this causes the feeling of being sore. So now we just have some review questions. Take about 30 seconds to answer these.
Okay, so first off, what is the formula for cellular respiration? So this is going to be um, glucose plus oxygen, and it's those are going to be the reactants, and the products are going to be carbon dioxide and water. What are the two types of cellular respiration? So this is going to be aerobic and anaerobic respiration, and um, and the difference between them is that um, is that aerobic respiration requires oxygen and anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen. And finally, where does glycolysis take place? This is going to be in the cytoplasm. Mm -hmm.